Good morning, I'm here at Waverley Station and I'm off on a day trip from Edinburgh down to Durham and I'd like to take you with me on this journey. Now I'm going with LNER on one of their brand new Azuma trains and I've got two goals for this journey today. First of all, I'd like to compare LNER's first class cabin with its standard class cabin. Is it a cabin? Well, you know what I mean. And secondly, I have a theory about modern trains in the UK. As the trains get more modern, more sleek, more bullet train looking like, and more technology focused, I think the seats are getting more uncomfortable. I'd like to know what you think. So fancy joining me on this little trip? Welcome to Rog Vlog. You know, I used to come through Waverley Station pretty much every day on my way to work. But when you do that every day, you don't look around you and see the wonders of the architecture. This roof, with its thousands and thousands of panes of glass, is absolutely amazing. Today's ride is a Class 801 train, known as the Azuma. Now, Azuma stands for East Wind in Japanese, which betrays the Japanese bullet train origins of this train type. The first class carriage is set out in a roomy 2 times one seating configuration. Oh, I've chosen a seat which isn't that well aligned with the windows, but let's have a look at it anyway. Plenty of personal space. I love this burgundy and grey moquette. Plenty of padding on the bottom of the seat. That's quite comfy. Coat hook. Reservation markers. And an adjustable leather headrest. This little switch here controls the recline. And in fact, the whole seat slides forward and back. A pretty decent armrest and a fairly sizeable sturdy table. Plenty of room for a laptop and for your cup of coffee. And look at this leg room. Absolutely masses of it. Some of the seats are grouped around tables, whereas the rest, like mine, are airline style. We're leaving Edinburgh Waverley bang on time. So let's sit back and enjoy the journey. Well, I have to say, this is really quite comfortable. I think it's exceeded my expectations. I really like the quite wide seat and that beautiful burgundy moquette. And even the, the bit at the bottom that you sit on is actually quite well padded and is gonna be quite comfortable for an, a two hour journey that I've got this morning. Now, I have to say though, if I compare this seat with the old style LNER first class seat, which was much bigger and made of leather, then it is a little bit of a downgrade, but I have to say it is comfortable. So I'm sort of okay about it. So I'm gonna sit down, I'm gonna enjoy a cup of coffee and I'm gonna wait for breakfast. Thank you. 
Okay, so a quick word about the breakfast. Now, recently, LNER have been making a big thing that their catering has returned to pre-pandemic levels. So this is an early morning train, 9 a.m. I was expecting the full LNER English breakfast. You know, sausages, bacon, beans, hash browns, eggs, the full Monty. But all I've got is a bacon roll. So here's the thing, you've got to be very careful about booking the train to make sure that you get the correct menu. In fact, they've made it incredibly complicated. They now have three menus on board their trains. They have a deli menu, which is just sandwiches. They have a dish menu, which is sandwiches plus a dish of the day. And then they have a dine menu, which is much more extensive because they have an onboard chef. And that's when you get the full LNER breakfast. But from what I can gather, there's only a few trains a day that have the full dine menu. And it's buried away on the website in a PDF, which I think is a bit disappointing. So if you're traveling LNER in first class and you want to make sure you get the full Monty breakfast, make sure you book the correct train. So go and look for that PDF. But nevertheless, the bacon roll looks good. So I'm going to tuck in. just about to go through Berwick upon Tweed and I have to say this is perhaps one of my favorite views on the East Coast main line let's have a look second coffee just as we're approaching Newcastle Well, as expected, the train became much busier after we stopped in Newcastle, but we're nearly at Durham. Well, here we are in Durham, and that was a really swift hour and a half. Very comfortable, enjoyed the bacon roll. So I've got meetings for the rest of the day. So I'll see you back here, don't go anywhere. Remember, we're gonna go back to Edinburgh on LNER in standard class and see how it compares to the downward journey. Well, I'm back here at Durham Station and I've got 15 minutes to wait for the train back up to Edinburgh. There's always something amazing about the architecture in some of these mainline stations. Remember those glass roofs in Waverley earlier on? Well, just look at the archwork here holding up these canopies. Absolutely exquisite. Standard, of course, is set out in a much denser 2 times 2 configuration, but the train isn't busy today, so there's plenty of room. Well, we're finally on our way back up to Edinburgh, so first things first, let's take a look at the standard class seat. The seat's a slim line, bolt upright, with no recline at all. Again, a very soft maquette in a bright red. 
But look at this, absolutely no give in that seat at all. It's like concrete. A fairly small, relatively pointless armrest. Decent sized tray table though, with this snazzy little pull out bit to support your laptop. But just look at this leg room. <laughs> that is incredible for a standard class train compartment. Look at that. One thing you've got to be careful with in standard class on these Azumas is not all of the windows are flush with the seats. Now I've gone and inadvertently booked myself a seat where I can't see out the window without <laughs> leaning forward significantly. Fortunately, the carriage is half empty, so I'm going to move over there to a seat where I can see out of the window. Well, this seat is much, much better, and of course, I can see out of the window. Now, I'm going to try the onboard ordering service. I've scanned the barcode on the back of the seat and ordered a coffee and a bottle of fizzy water, and have the confirmation here on the mobile. Let's see how long it takes to arrive. Thanks. That was quick. Less than five minutes. You know, I've probably had far too much caffeine as it is already today, but here goes. Cheers. Mm, actually, that's not a bad cup of coffee. Really quite tasty. After we called at Morpeth, the train carriage was almost completely deserted apart from me and one other person. Plenty of space to spread out. Okay, we really need to talk about these standard class seats. The positives first, however. I love the bright red colours and that moquette is really nice and soft to the touch. And the legroom is absolutely outstanding. In fact, I can't remember seeing legroom like that in standard class on any train or any aircraft for that matter. But the seat is incredibly uncomfortable. The bottom part that you sit on is like concrete. There's hardly any give in it at all. And the backs of the seats are so upright and so hard. I've been sat here for less than 40 minutes and I've already got a bit of backache. Now on the LNER website they give you all this claptrap about how the seats were ergonomically designed for comfort, but honestly I would struggle to sit in these seats for the four and a half hour journey from Edinburgh to London, let alone the eight hour journey from Aberdeen further south. It really is very uncomfortable. Now, I have looked this up on Google and it's not LNER's fault. These Azuma trains, the Class 800s, were originally specified by the Department of Transport, so they are responsible for the seats. And from what I can gather, these standard class seats are actually from European commuter trains, so they're not really supposed to be for long distance comfort. So, personally, if I was going on a long journey on LNER, I'd be looking for those first class bargains so that I can get to sit in one of those comfier first class seats. Everything else about the experience today has been absolutely spot on, so I don't want to come across as if I'm moaning too much, but I'd be very interested in your comments. Put them below. Have you been on LNER in standard class? Do you find the seats really uncomfortable over long distances? That's enough for me on the seats. I'm going to finish my coffee and enjoy the rest of the journey to Edinburgh Waverley. Cheers.
here we are, back in Edinburgh Waverley. And I'm home. What a great day I've had today, playing on the trains, going down to Durham and back. I hope I fulfilled the missions that I set for myself. I showed you the difference between first class and standard class on LNER's new Azuma trains. And I worked my hypothesis that whilst the trains have been getting much more modern and much more full of tech and sleeker, that the seats themselves have become much more uncomfortable. More so in standard class, admittedly, than in first class. But I think I've proved my hypothesis. My desire, my wish going forward is that eventually LNER will feel that it's worth their investment in stripping out those concrete ironing boards and actually putting in some decent, comfortable seats in standard class. Because do you know what? With that amazing legroom, they could really be onto a winner with much more comfortable seats. If you enjoyed this episode of Rog Vlog, please do subscribe to my YouTube channel. Until the next episode, remember, there's always something to see, so get out there and find it! Very comfortable, enjoyed the bacon roll, so I've got meetings for the rest of the day. So I'll see you back here in the... <laughs>